Welcome to the APTA's fifth Grand Prix event of the season, the Philadelphia Open, sponsored by the APTA national sponsors, Viking and Uline. We are streaming from the Philadelphia Cricket Club on the APTA network, presented by ENET Live. I'm Lauren Mandel, along with Mark Fischel, bringing you this women's final between the unseated team of Marcella Rodesno and Macy Elliott and the number two seeds, Annika Cooper and Florentina Hanisch. Well, Lauren, we were talking off air about how much fun it is to see a new team. And today is really important because a win, I mean, I think a win by Rodesno Elliott really puts them in the conversation for being a Nationals contender. Well, they certainly look like it yesterday. Boy, they played two excellent matches and um, against, against the number four seeds. There we go. We have a look at the draw against the number four seeds, Delmonico Gebbia. And then they played an almost flawless match against Andrekova and Zabori. Yeah, they really weren't pushed. I mean, they got off to a slow start against Andrekova Zabori, down three love, but then came back and really dominated afterwards. And I didn't think Andrekova Zabori played poorly. Yeah, right. I agree with you. Um, there was just there were no, there was no weakness to find in the in the LA Rodesno game. They were. They were both so solid from the back off both sides, and they both volleyed really, really well and hit smart overheads. So let's see if they can repeat the performance today. So let's identify our players. In the top right-hand corner is Annika Cooper, and her partner in the blue jacket is Flor Hanisch. Flor is warming up in the bottom left-hand corner, somewhat out of your screen now, with Marcella Redesno. And her partner is Macy Elliott with the white and blue cap. So, I mean, to me, the thing about Cooper Hanish is, is they don't beat themselves. They fight, they compete, they have a game plan, they know exactly what they want to do, and they just, they'll, they'll stay out there with you until the end of the match. Having said that, they don't have a lot of big weapons. Obviously, the Cooper backhand, especially on that down-up overhead, is a very effective shot. What we saw yesterday from Elliot Redesno was really a well-rounded game with a lot of offense. Both women drive the backhand and the forehand. I was very impressed with, with Macy Elliott's overhead. Her roller was, was really yeah. putting them under pressure, really bothered Martina Andrekova yesterday. And, and obviously, you know, Marcelo Redesno's got a big forehand and is a very patient player. I mean, the team we saw yesterday can win nationals. Now, is that team going to show up today in the, the big moment, the finals? That remains to be seen. It's probably the big question of the day. And I think also when you talk about Cooper Hanish, you have to talk about their movement. They, they blitz well, and they try to give you a lot of different looks, and that's also a big strength of their game. Yeah, Floor Hanish, as we talked about last night, might be the, the best player in the country. She's got a, a lot of elements to her game, which are the, the second or third best on tour. Nothing that really stands out, but when you put the whole package together... She might be the best. And as we pointed out a bunch of times yesterday, she's definitely the most disciplined. When she blitzes, she does not go for the ball unless she has a good play at. There's and no launching. She trusts her partner to be there. Looks like Le Pavere, Prosenko are through. And they'll play Araya Parsons in the semi. Breakthrough moment for them. Okay, we're going to go to our umpire now to introduce the players. Okay. Fran Rodano is in the chair. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a women's final of the Philly Open. This match is the best of three sets with tie breaks. To my left in the ad court from Bedford, New York, Annika Cooper. Her partner in the deuce court from Stanford, Connecticut, Florentina Hanish. To my right in the deuce court from Darien, Connecticut, Macy Elliott. Her partner in the ad court from Monroe, Connecticut, Marcelo Rodesno. Elliot and Rodesno have won the toss and have elected to receive. Who do you think the favorites are, Lauren? I think you have to call Cooper Hanish the favorites. I mean, they've, they've won so many titles and they've been in so many big finals that, um, and this is, well, Rodesno's played a few. She, she won Long Island a few years ago. I mean, she's been there before, but this is really, you know, Macy Elliott got to the, they got, got to the semis of the charities, and, and I think it was an overwhelming moment for her. And now she's going to get her second chance, and hopefully um, she'll have a better showing, which I'm sure she will. Yeah, I think that it, 
you pretty much know where Cooper Hannes are going to play. Yeah. But the question is, are Elliot Redesno going to be three levels below them or potentially a level above them? Because the level we saw for them yesterday was tremendous. Well, that's their question, right? Is that their level now, Elliot Redesno? Like, is that repeatable every day? Because if it is, watch out. Can I let you know the answer to that question in about an hour and a half? Yes. Well, that's what we're, we're looking to see right now. Okay, the women look like they've finished warming up. Sun is not too bad a factor right now. It's almost directly overhead <coughs> for the men's semis. It'll be an issue. Yeah, there's, again, it's a cloudless sky here. It's a beautiful day, but it, the sun will make it hard to play paddle in a few hours. We have had some serious weather here in Philadelphia the last couple of years, so I'm not complaining. I like the smiling from Redesno Elliott. And I think that's going to, as we've talked about, that's going to be the issue. Can they, can they maintain that attitude throughout? And if you're Elliott Redesno, you cannot let the Cooper backhand beat you. To serve. I mean, their, their offense is the Cooper backhand and, and the Hanish blitz. Mm -hmm. Again, this is Marcella Redesno in the, the black vest backhand and her partner Macy Elliott with the blue and white cap on the forehand side. And that's Annika Cooper hitting the overheads and her partner Floor Hanish in the visor. Nobody's wearing teal today, Lauren. I'm kind of disappointed about that. Good patient point. And that's what Redesno's yeah. got to be careful about. You don't want to get beaten in transition. That's one of the things that Cooper Hunters do really well. Yeah, they, they get people to come in and then they beat them in transition over and over again. Good swing from love. Macy Elliott. I like that she's coming out swinging. Yeah, Marcelo Rodesno's kind of been on the the fringes of the top of the game for a while. You know, always knew she had a lot of talent. She played for a little while with uh, Miriam Warner, then just kind of didn't play for a year or two. Thirty love. She's got a great all-rounded game. Hannes is just so solid. She just makes so few mistakes. <laughs> Thirty fifteen. Kiss of death. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. <laughs> the number of times that happens is really unbelievable. A jinx at work. Thirty all. Okay, so he makes a couple mistakes. Thumping forehand from Redesno. But I think your point is well taken. She plays the percentages and she's it's not often that she'll do something crazy. She she tries to play the right shot at the right time. She usually does. That's a good move by Elliot Rodesno there. Not getting beaten in transition. And how they deal with the one up, one back. If we've done our keys to winning 
That would have been one of them. Good. Yep. I never heard a call. The ball was in. Uh, confirmed in. Thirty forty. Chair umpire. Love the start from Elliot Redesno, Lauren. They look calm, cool, and collected. Yeah. They look like they're going to play within themselves, and they both look like they're hitting the ball well. Big return from Redesno, and that's first game goes to Elliot Redesno. Losing the they first lead two. one game to zero. I think that it'll be interesting to see as the match goes on how often Cooper Hanish employ the one up one back strategy. And if Elliot and Redesno have talked a lot about it, about not getting baited into coming in and not having to make those volleys in transition, I think that will be a big important factor. I'm also interested to see if the, the Elliott roller has the impact on the match today that it did yesterday. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to get this game Elliot get a good serve. look at it. They Interesting that Elliott's serving first. Yesterday it was Redesno who started. Elliott, you'll notice, serves, she tosses that ball way out in front of her. It gets her into the net quickly Love and 15. it keeps the ball low. Great overhead there from Hanish. That's Vintage Cooper catching that ball early on the rise, stealing time from short in the court. She does that better than anybody. Yeah, she gets there so early, you feel like you haven't even taken a step in yet when she hits it. 15.30. You see Hanish always moving, always picking up those feet, bouncing around. Fifteen forty. Wind blowing out there. Our umpire's mic. Oh, sloppy game. From game Cooper Hanish. Elliot We're Redesno tied one game to one. A good start. Now Cooper we did see serve. several of our matches yesterday. Holding serve was a real accomplishment. Oh, that's a big heavy. forehand. Love 15. Heavy, heavy. And we just didn't see enough of that yesterday, from, especially from the, the, the match with uh, Morgan Sakura. We just got to punish that serve. And that's one of the things that makes Redes Elliot Rodesno so good, is they both really, really hit that forehand. And backhand, they can both hit off both sides. But on return to serve, primarily yeah. the forehand. Yeah. Great lob there from Redesno. Well set up point. This is the backhand. 15 all. She kind of jumped at it as she illustrated after. I really thought Cooper was going to stay back on that. And there's the backhand that you've got to avoid, that down-up overhead. 15-30. Just got to find the spot in the court where your opponent has the most offense and understand that you need to avoid it. And that not only does that serve the purpose of staying away from your opponent's best shot, but it also can make your opponent 
15, hit 40. something that they don't really have a good play at because they're desperate to hit a ball. So it can help you in two ways. Well, that's a good transition from Marcelo Redesno there. Well, that overhead was close. Good play there. Game, Elliot Redesno, they lead the two blitz. games to one. Redesno to serve. Elliot Redesno have played two terrific games on return and one really bad game on serve where they really looked nervous. It was just a, it was a missed serve. It was a missed overhead. It was a few, it was just even too quick to look nervous. It was just sloppy. So let's see if that, I'm, see if that was an aberration. Clark Trophies by Max LePevere. Your number one destination for all trophies and prizes. Clark Trophies. Better quality, faster service. I think Max will be awarding himself a trophy if he wins here. Would he complain about the service? <laughs> okay, so Marcella Redesno to serve. 2-1 first set. And we'll see if we can get some holds of serve, something that was a real paucity of yesterday. Love 15. Kind of a swinging volley there from Redesno. Ball you'd expect her to make. Dangerous overhead from Redesno. That's the one Cooper likes so much. She's going to keep leaning in. Cooper looking for a short one. There you saw her try to sneak up. There it is. That's the one you don't want to give her unless you want to keep fighting these off. Love 30. And then Hanush was able to take advantage of her being out of position with the lob and drew the error. A series of bad overheads yeah. is what got them in trouble. Fifteen thirty. Would you describe that as breath of fresh air yesterday? Sun's really a factor yet, Lauren. There's the roller. Well handled by Hanish. But a great overhead by Elliot. Oh. Yeah, great spotted forehand drive. 1540. From Cooper, she's really good at finding that right hip. I'm still amazed there are no lefties in the women's game, Lauren. It just defies It's It is bizarre. Belief. It's bizarre. Well, it's not that there are no lefties in the game. It's that there are no lefties at the very top of the game. Or, or the middle of the game? No, there are. Um, uh, uh, Jolene Suter. Right. She's a good player. Yeah, but I'm saying in terms of you know, you know, no lefties are going to make the quarterfinals and nationals this year. Uh, no, probably That's not. Top 16 women. 30, 40. Yeah. I don't think of any other lefties. I uh, showed Jolene Suter to play a little bit at Short Hills. It was so weird to see a woman yeah. holding the paddle in the left hand. Yeah. Game Cooper Honish were tied two games apiece. And you see the rich the servers Honish losing serve. so many points in the first three shots that serve return first volley. It's well, become be such a decision for all the women players. Do I come in on my serve? Do I stay back? Do we both stay back? Because, like you said, you lose so many points in those first three love. shots. 
Well, if the match comes down to who's making better adjustments, you know Cooper Hannes are going to win. Elliot really moves well, doesn't she? Legs. You see Cooper Hanish falling into the one up, one back. And Hanish is only going to take balls that are high or that she has a good volley at. Otherwise, Cooper's going to hit it. She's also going to hit a lot of aggressive overheads. And so far, I like what I see from Elliot Rodesno dealing with it. Very patient, trying not trying to go around her. Big forehand from Cooper. Good point. It's a hell of a point. It's been a Great action. 30 love. Good serve. Good serve for Hanish. 40 love. Chance for our first hold of the day. I still don't feel like Elliot Rodesno are kind of free flowing yet. Nobody's home. There's some of that athleticism from Floor Hanish covering the court. All four of these women cover the court very well. That's it. Desna doing a great job of putting a block lob with the two-hander. That is a good forehand from Elliot. 40-15. Never even reached the back wire. It was slowing down so fast. It was a good decision by Hannes to hit 40, it. 30. She would have never gotten it off the wire. Well, she might have, but it would have bounced four or five times. <laughs> Big point here. 40 30 from 40 Love. Game, Hanish Cooper, they lead three games to two. And there's a hold. A hold. Lob missed wide from Elliott. And she'll serve next to 2-3 first set. 
Elliot to serve. The between the, the hole. legs. Is it the five hole? If it's a woman also, or is it only a five hole if it's a guy? Okay, we're going five hole generically. Kelly Diesel has informed me that we're okay there. I feel, Mark, like these two teams are still really feeling each other out here. Good lobs there. That's a smart play. Oh, great right inside out, backhand. 15, love. Well, that was a really good point, Elliot Redesno played. A lot of good decisions, well lobbed. Really were in control of that point throughout. Macy Elliott's got a lot of game, doesn't she, Lauren? She sure does. the roller. Good recovery there from Redesno. Careful. Love the variety on the Elliott overhead. A lot of different shots. Mixing in the push with the cut with the roller. Good point. 30 love. Really feel like they've found their footing in the match right now. Switching at the net to get the Elliott overhead in the middle. I don't think enough teams do that. Yeah, I agree with you. It, I was watching and I was thinking they're going to switch, right? Because it's obvious that Elliott's got the more penetrating shots on her overhead. Great blitz there from Hanish. I mean, like Andreka of Zabori. Yeah. They 30, never 15. switch to that, and I think Zabori's got the better overhead there. there you're seeing Hanish do what she does best. She's so good at understanding when her opponents are in trouble. 30 all. It's not quite a sidearm serve like the guys have, but it's the same concept. Just keep the ball low. As low as possible. Oh, that's a volley. Kind of hands. 30 there. 40. I don't expect her to miss that one.
30, 40. Shot five. Yep. Cooper. Game, Both Hunters Cooper. There. They lead four to two. Cooper to serve. It was a missed opportunity there, I feel like, for Elliot Rodesno. They played two excellent points to start the game. Gave away a few points, and that's what happens. Yeah, it got sloppy. I mean, even that last miss by Rodesno, there was no reason not to put that ball in play. the switch. Love 15. You can see a lot of Carl Levinitz game. Macy Elliott's boss at CCD. Although she has a backhand, Carl has no backhand at all. That's big forehand for Desno. You gotta punish that serve. You just you Love can't 30. allow her to throw that ball in the box and come to net. I couldn't agree more. Any serve that is weak and short, go after it. That's great transition volley. Love forty. A little bit of a miss hit, but you know, good position, low for it. Well struck. When do you think Cooper starts staying back? I keep expecting it, but next game. Game, Elliot Rodesno. Yeah. Well, that's seven Hannes games Cooper lead, and four six games to three. To serve. And this is where Cooper Hannes are so smart. They're aware of what's going on, and we watched that match last night, Lauren, where they were staying back almost exclusively. You get huh. some of the best overheads and volleyers in the country in Darda Shea. Yeah. Hanish served is serving very well, though. Mm -hmm. So she no she's serve. the one who held. She Three almost games, held the first game she four. served until you jinxed her. And, I apologize. Um, so that might really be the, the key to this match. But last night, despite the fact that she was serving well, she still decided to stay back. Yep. So we'll see how long they hang in there with that strategy. And if Rodez Elliot Rodesno can get a hold here. I think Rodesno actually is the better serve of the two. Her surprised. serve is very consistent. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised they allowed Elliot to start the match. Great job from Rodesno staying on the backhand, not flipping her paddle. That's not where you want That's it. That's not the roller that you want to hit. Love 15. You cannot hit that back wire first because then Annika Cooper's going to be hitting the ball down at you from short in the court, and you're in trouble. Tough ball to control. Big shout out to Patty Hogan running junior nationals this weekend. I think they've got. 220, 230 players. <laughs> she tried not to make the same mistake with that roller. That's well, called an over didn't adjustment. Didn't make the same <laughs> no. mistake. It's nice seeing Annika Cooper playing like Annika Cooper because the first couple tournaments of the year. She was obviously very rusty, hadn't played much battle, and she's really got her feet under her, playing well again. The team at the net is losing a ton of points. You know, what point do you no longer want the net? It's 15, the first 30. One 
And that team has won in a while. Fifteen forty. So why do you think we're seeing such dominance from the team in the backcourt, Lauren? Well, I think some of it is the serve. I think that... Although we haven't seen bad serving too no. much. It's not about the ba bad serving. It's about when you serve, it has to be in the box, and that's a short fall, and that's giving the returners an advantage unless you have a really good serve. Game, Hannes Cooper. But with Desno's serve, they, didn't, they weren't hurting her in return to serve there. No, but she's still, I think, feel like behind in the point when, she's, when she hits that first volley. To serve. That's seven breaks in eight games for Hannes to serve. That's a good drive by Redesno, but it wasn't particularly well placed. When you watch when Cooper drives the ball, it's always on that right hip, not the left hip. That was better from Elliott. Thank you. Good point. I guess Love Cooper 15. touched Touch it. it. That was a well-constructed point from Redesno. Fifteen all. Just a few more errors off the Elliott Redesno paddle, but that's the story of Cooper Hanish. They just don't beat themselves, and they put pressure on you. Well, by failing to give you points by yeah. that very definition, they're putting pressure on you. 1530. <laughs> Big shout out to Sebastian Bredberg playing in a this weekend. We miss you here on the East Coast, Sebby. He actually lost his first set out there, six love. Good low overheads, tough to drive from Cooper Hanish. It's interesting, it's almost always Cooper you see falling back on the overheads. Very rarely Hanish. Dig from Elliott. Oh, what a shot from Hanish. Hanish has really worked on that. She's off. done it a few times this weekend perfectly. We'll have to get a replay of that. That one was from far off the net, yeah. too. They're not getting a lot of good swings off the Hanish serve. No, and hence Hanish is making all the first volleys and
the winning points at the net, except for that one. And there you saw Hanish, a little yeah. indecisive. 30 40. Rare thing to see from her. Well, she was kind of bailing, but still tried to make the volley as she was moving backwards. Good forehand from Redesno. Misses the volley wide, and we've got our Game, eighth Redesno. break in nine games. And here's that amazing Honest, shot from Hanish. Look at this. All the way at the service line. Almost at the yeah. service line. Elliot to serve. Big applause for Macy five. Elliott. Oh, that was tremendous. Okay, can they get a hold to serve? Don't worry, Lauren. I'm not going to ask you a hold or break. <laughs> Don't worry, Mark. I wasn't going to answer you. <laughs> I'm going to save that for a bigger moment in the match. It's amazing how many of these matches we've done that that's what it comes down to. If you can hold once or twice, you win the set. Okay, here we go. Macy Elliott to serve. So they managed to survive the first barrage. Yeah. And here so they've got to have the discipline to play the middle of the court. That was closer than they thought. But again, love. that's perfect. Make Cooper beat you with her forehand. That's not her big weapon. It's a good shot. It's just not her best shot. And she didn't really want to hit that one. I, I didn't think she looked particularly decisive when she went for it the way she did when backhand comes. Her eyes get wide. Yep. And Missy Elliott's got to be careful with that roller across court. Little confusion there. And they oh. pay for it. Oh, it's oh. good. Nope. Great oh, hands. Too bad. But again, it all started when, all. when Elliot and Redesno both went for the overhead and got pushed off the net. And it's those little mental mistakes that sometimes can cost you a set or even a match. Well, it's great forehand volley from Elliot off a big return. 30-15. Oh, good forehand from Cooper. Boy, I thought all. Elliot was in real good volleying position and still had to reach for that ball. Every once in a while, Hannah shall hit the forehand, but she doesn't really want to. No. Well, that was a ball where Desno let drop, kind of hoping it was going to be out. Yeah, just can't afford to do that 30, at that 40. moment in the match. She wasn't under that much duress. Just missed the lob long, and that takes us to our first set point. Close. Cooper Hanish tend to play these big points so well. Mm. And there's the missed volley. Game in first set. Cooper Hanish, Game six Honest four. Game Cooper. They win the first set, six games to four. We will be back in just a moment with the second set after these messages right here on the APTA network presented by ENET Live. The world of Rolex is filled with stories of perpetual excellence. 
Since 1990, the Solheim Cup has elevated women's golf. Team USA challenges Team Europe, upholding the traditions of sportsmanship and teamwork. As the women's game grows, the Solheim Cup will continue to shape its future. This is a story of perpetual excellence. The story of Rolex. When people think of Roto-Rooter, they typically just think plumbing and water cleanup. And they wouldn't be wrong, but we do a whole lot more. Roto-Rooter. Yeah, we do that too. Welcome back to the APTA Grand Prix Series. We're about to start the second set of this women's finals between Marcella Rodesno and Macy Elliott, the unseeded team, and the number two seeds, Florentina Hanish and Annika Cooper. Cooper Hanish won the first set, six games to four. Nine breaks in 10 games. Flor Hanish had a hole to serve at two all in the first set, and now we'll see what type of adjustments the two teams make. This is the second set. Cooper Hanish won the first set, six games to four. I'd like to see a little bit more uh, eye formation serve. from Elliot Redesno, maybe staying back a little bit. Something different because they were 0 for 5. Yeah, on serve. Some, some way to try to get a hold. And they were in a lot of points. It wasn't that they were, weren't in the points, just a bunch of errors from a variety of sources that ended up calling, costing them. And the, the Macy Elliott overhead, which had such a big impact on yesterday's match, had no impact on today's match. And part of that is because Hanish and, and Cooper are lobbing well. If you, oh, that was good. That if was you lob well, in. you can't 15 hit big rollers. Yep, that's definitely part of it. But even when she's had the opportunities, she hasn't really advance the ball for our team on the individual points. Confusion there from Cooper Hunter. You don't see too much of that. Uh, that Cooper forehand you know, the down up over Thirty so love. solid and she always hits it in the right place. But you know, even though Cooper Honish had some confusion, they call every ball. So they can afford it a little bit. Oh, that's not a ball Forty love. Elliott's gonna be happy with. If you miss drives on return serve, that's fine, but missing a lob. get from Hannes to staying in the point. That's a good roller. But then a bad overhead from Rodesno gets game, them in trouble. Cooper Hanish, they lead one they game to second hold of the match, both belonging to Floor yeah. Hanish. She's been by far the best server on the court today. All right. Well, I know it's early, but I, I, I think that Rodesno and Elliot have to keep it close here to have any chance of getting back into this match. APTA President Tiernan Kavana wants me to remind everybody we're gonna have the largest women's draw in Nationals history. In two weeks in Darien, we're up to 113 teams. Hoping to get a full 128, so if you're out there and you're thinking of playing, go sign up at platformtennis.org. It's gonna be a great event. Lots of fun, lots of action. I encourage everybody to sign up, men, women, Okay, so here's the adjustment we see right off the bat with Elliot staying back as Redesno serves. I like it, Lauren Mandel. Yep. That's what we said they have to, and they have to do something. They can't get b behind here. 
Well, they're already behind. Yeah, but they can't get a lot behind. I mean, if they lose serve here like they've done every time before, it's too love and and Hanish and Cooper know how to handle the moment. They've been here a lot of times before. Good eye from Cooper there. Love 15. A great athletic move by Cooper. She traveled a long way she to did. hit that she ball. She went about as... It's like a big circle route. Yeah, it's about as far you could go on one side of a paddle court. moving those lobs. Cooper Hanish just so solid from the backcourt, giving away nothing. Great backhand there from Cooper. Love 30. That's the ball Florianish doesn't miss. And it's those little differences that end up making the uh, making the big difference in the scoreboard at the end of the match. Well, we've seen so few of those Thumping four in from Marcelo Redesno today. Mm. Pressing there a little bit. Game Cooper Hanish, they lead two games to love. Yeah, they're just not, Hanish, they're they not getting the opportunities. Yeah, they, they're, they're doing yep. everything on Cooper, Cooper Hanish's serve. terms. Yep. This is a, a real step on the throat game if, if Cooper can hold here. <laughs> That's a smart play from Macy Elliott. I don't think 15. we see enough of that in the women's game. We did, we did the final in Cincinnati, Brad Easterbrook and I, and she was, uh, Cooper was throwing in that really soft serve, and Amy Shea wasn't going after Floor Hanish, and I think you gotta, you got to punish that person at the net. You can't just let her hang in there and take over the net. Well, I think that was respect probably for Floor Hanish because that seems unlike Amy Shea. 15 all. I don't know if it's respect, but to me that's a mistake. Yeah. I mean, Floor Hannes is terrific at the net. And if Cooper is throwing in a soft serve, you have to punish her. You can't let her get away with that. I mean, I like how Elliot went at her on that first point. Yeah, no, it's, it's a good play. There's the bigger serve. Didn't help. 15-30. Stole time from herself there. Great transition play from Cooper. Same thing. That's the ball you don't see Cooper miss. 30 all. Big point right here. Okay. Break point. Thirty 
Vault from Cooper. Game L8 Rodesno. Hannes Cooper lead two games to one. They've just got to find a way to hold serve. They were close for that game. Now, I mean, Cooper Hannes were closer. Now that now Rodesno, Elliot have to find a way. If they yeah. can't hold serve, the match is over. Yep. And they are 0 for 6, and I don't know if they have a game point yet. They had a 30-love lead once. Yeah, the first two points on, I think, Macy Elliott's serve. But it's a testimony to the Cooper Hanish lobbing, just pushing them around. Misses that one, but that's a good swing from Flor Hanish. That's her shot. Yeah. 15 love. Got another crack at that forehand. 15 all. But Fredesna wasn't under a lot of duress with the lob and then just hit a really short overhead. I think the cumulative pressure of cumulative pressure of Hanish and Cooper being so solid and so in sync is is affecting Elliot Redesno. They're trying to maybe make things happen too quickly or they're pressing. And that's because of their opponents. That makes Hanish one for one for three. <laughs> one 30 for 15. One and two for on her forehand this yeah, game. I don't like those. I don't like those odds. But those were good swings. That high ball, she's coming down on, they're off the net. I think that's the right shot. She just didn't execute. One thing I do like is they've gotten away from the Cooper backhand. Shot selection there from Hanish. That was the ball she could have driven but wasn't in great position and had the discipline to wait. Then these are the types of points they have to play. Good lob there from Hanish. You know, 30 15, you can't 30 miss off. a lob long. Just at this juncture of the match, those are the types of mistakes that will beat you. They played such a good, solid point. And then again, weren't under any pressure, just missed a lob. Confusion again. And that's great lobbing from Hannes. She's in that slot where they both want to hit the ball. there from Elliot. Oh, for 
Desno kind of stole that overhead from Elliot. She's looking for the nick over there, Elliot, with that hard roller. It's a good point. Yeah, and it illustrates why for Desno Elliot are frustrated because they're just not getting anything from their opponents. This is a big point right here, and they're playing it smart, and they get the error. 40-30. Right, they avoided the yep. the backhand of Cooper at that point and got themselves in position. Hold point, Mark. Wow, breaking news, Lauren. And there it is. Whoa, I feel there like we is. should celebrate. Game, Elliot Redesno, we're tied two if games. Elliot Redesno, you should certainly celebrate because that guys. was a huge blocking point for them. Well, I, I really like the, the way they played that game. Much better tempo, smarter overheads. Just a good, solid game. You just have to put together about 25 of those, and you could win a battle match. Honest to serve, 2-2. Two, two. And I don't mean to make it sound easy to stick with your plan, because it's obviously not. It's that great Mike Tyson line, everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. I just feel like a lot of the <coughs> damage from Elliot Redesno has been self-inflicted. New ball that Hanish is serving with. transition play, but she wins it. Boy, I thought Annika Cooper had a shot at that ball. Love 15. Hung up there a long time, and with her speed, I thought she was going to make a play on it. A great point there from Redesno. Volley from Cooper. Great discipline staying on the back end. I think the sun is starting to be a factor because Cooper's ho holding up her hand there again like she was doing yesterday when she couldn't see. Is it starting to impact your commentating or you're okay so far? I have my sunglasses on, I'm okay. I thought that was so you wouldn't be recognized. <laughs> There it is again. Uh, another slash winner from Hanish. Again, not on top all. of the net either. Great ball. Love the commitment to the shot. And it doesn't look at all risky when she hits it. No. She's, She's two for two. 30-15. the tip of the paddle. 40-15. Little mistakes. Cooper Hannes just make fewer of them. Yeah, Macy Elliott misplayed that ball and was Game Cooper Correctly Hanish, not happy they about lead it. three games to two. So back to back holds to serve. Yeah, now Elliot and Redesno are in the position of having a hold again. And Redesno has not hold, held yet. No. 
But Hanish does look good on serve. She's uh, holding the dice. Oh, to serve. We've got lots more paddle today. We'll be bringing you the men's semis at 2 o'clock, followed by the men's final. Which I think is scheduled for 5.30. A lot of paddle today. Two serving three. Rare missed return. 15 love. From Cooper Hanish. They put so many balls in play. Backhand we've seen in a while. 30 love. bit lucky 40 love very happy with that you keep your paddle up and good things happen okay three opportunities to hold for Redesno <laughs> yeah, 40 that 15 See Elliot there. Oof, it's going to be an accident. Yeah, Redesno's got to get out of the way and let Elliot hit those balls. Smart lob there. As, uh, as, as Elliot moved forward, Hanish hit it behind her. Or over her. Yeah, I meant. Good action. Yeah, she just had a tendency to misplay that soft ball into the 40, corner. 30. You know, that would have been easily played off of two wires. She could have played it off of one, but she was really late deciding. And then she rushed, panicked a little bit. Yep, absolutely she panicked. Big point right here. Slot again. Well, that's something that if Redesno and Elliot watch this match, uh, got the error, they can definitely work on is that. Game, Elliot Redesno, we're tied three games them. apiece. Boy, rare sloppy error from Cooper Hodge. Cooper Hanish. to serve. All right, we're on a streak of holds. Yeah. 
And it looks like they're staying back on the, the Cooper serve. I think it's a real smart play. Cooper serving 3-3. Three, three. That's good play from Elliot Redesno. I mean, making Love 15. Cooper beat you with a forehand is what you have to do. And she didn't. Cooper didn't have a great play on that ball. She, no, she wasn't moving forward. She was moving sideways to it. She rushed a little bit, and now they're going back to Hanush at the net. On the forehand. Yep, that was 15 good all. That one was from further in the court. It's like this hurdle that Elliot Redesno can't quite get over. recognition of the, the opportunity there. 30-15. Cooper Honors have done such a great job yep. of kind of negating, almost sucking the life out of Elliot Redesno. Yeah, those are the misses you can't afford. 40-15. That's why I think it's that's a ball you take at Hanish. She's not gonna miss it wide if you're taking at her. Mm. Yeah. Fall time. Yes. Fault from Cooper there. 40-30. Another big point in the match right here. So we'll see Rodesno take this ball right out of Hannish, right on her right hip. Game, Cooper Hannish, they that lead four games to three. That is music to Cooper's ears. Two missed returns. Yeah. <laughs> and we're on a real roll now of holds. It is weird, right? Nobody could hold for a set and now a half, and now three, nobody can break. Four. That was a big game that Elliot Redesno let get away. That was really their game to lose. I feel like they just... And they did. Yeah. They lost it. They lost it. I mean, Cooper did make that good blitz and yeah, played a few back good to points. Back missed returns. But there were a couple missed returns, and you just can't do that when... Nope. Especially when someone's serve is, is not the best part of their game. The sun is definitely becoming a problem. 15, love. Yeah, that 3 o'clock sun yesterday was just brutal.
30, love. Big rip there from Hanish. 30-15. Thirty all. Elliot sometimes gets a little wristy on that backhand handy, volley. Yeah. That was a she very makeable, makeable yeah. volley. Yeah. Break point. Thirty forty. Hannes is really hurting him on return of serve. There are a couple of big ones this set. And this would put him in position to serve for the match. Fusion in the middle. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Great rip from Hannes. Uh, Catches deuce. the leg cord and it barely goes wide. Okay. Nope, misses that one. Would love the aggressive swing in the big moment. Vantage Elliot. Same thing as last game, right? Two two missed returns by the receiving team. Changed the whole complexion of the game. Smart play by Macy Elliott. Deuce. But again, just that's just a gifted point. Just can't do that right at that stage of the match. Dangerous overheads in a row from Rodesno. That's good cover in the middle from Elliott. Great backcourt play from Cooper Hanish, putting a lot of pressure on him. Good lobs, good decisions. Confusion. It's amazing they haven't hit each other yet. <laughs> Cooper does such a good job of finding the right hip in that forehand, doesn't she? She does. The blitz from Hanish. Oh, good, good leave by Hanish. I think Macy Rudesno are actually better in this position. Well, they close better in this. They close off the net better in this position. Well, Macy also does a better job of sliding to yeah, her left. That's what I mean. The they they yeah. keep the. Advantage, Elliot. Great point there. It's a fight. 
good battle. Add in. There, that handy volley is successful, and Hunnish misses the, the lob. I think that Cooper should come in Game behind Miller, that. Those Desno, we're tied the handy volleys piece. are getting popped up, yeah. and that's an easy one for her to pick off each time. Big hold for Redesno. Now can someone get a break? Do you think we'd be saying that 25 minutes ago? Oh, it's so Paddle is a really strange game. There's nothing that's changed. That's They're not serving better. They're not. <laughs> the Cooper Hunter switch the net to get the Hunter I guess what has changed is the sun is worse. and. Seems to be bothering Cooper the most. She has very sensitive eyes. Great rip there. Great get. Not quite. Great effort. 15, love. Great volley from Cooper. Late. 15 yeah, that off. Was ball. Well played point from Redesno there. A couple of big forehands. You know, not a bad swing, not a bad 30, shot. 30 15. Just, you have to execute at this point in the match. And missing in the net, obviously, is just not acceptable. And if you're going to miss long, you don't love it, clearly, but at least there's a chance your opponents are going to swing at it. Great spot. There it is again. But again, you see Macy Ellick is like middle of the box. Yeah. She's got to be three feet, maybe four feet to her right and taking away that slot from, from Monica Cooper. Well, I think she was thinking that ball was going cross court and Hanish was going to hit it, so she moved over to cover the middle. Either way, it was a good play by Hanish. I mean, Cooper, she was, Elliot was completely out of position. Okay. And you feel like game those two Hanish, errors were Cooper, they lead too. five yes. games right? to four. Frustrated with the miss volley, mm -hmm. takes a swing at a backhand, and now they'll serve to stay in the match. Redesno to serve. Okay. We will have uh, an interview with our winners at the end of this match, which could be sooner or later, but will be sooner or later. Transition there from Hanish. Love 15. And they're flirting with danger here. Two points Love for the match. 30. Triple match Love point. 40. And 
And there it there is. There it is. Game, set, and match. Cooper Hanish. Match six, to Cooper four, Hanish. 6 4. Closing thoughts, Lauren Mandel? Um, you know, it was, an, it was a good match. It was. Elliot Redesno didn't find the level that they had yesterday, but I think they made a great inroad for Nationals, and they're going to be one of the teams to beat there. Yeah, it was fun to watch, and it was another example of, to me of how Cooper Hanish is positioning at the net and lobbing from the backcourt just kind of sucks some of the life out of Elliot Redesno. And expose the not-as-good positioning of their yep. opponents. Yep. So we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with the interview with the winners. to be part of the team. I play to be stronger than my brothers. I play to channel my energy in a positive way. I play because the field is where I shine. I play to be a part of something bigger than myself. I play to stay healthy. I play to feel powerful. I play to win. The world of Rolex is filled with stories of perpetual excellence. For Rolex and tennis, the tradition began in 1978 and has grown to include the most iconic majors and tournaments since, supporting the legends, champions, and rising stars committed to the future of the game. This is a story of perpetual excellence, the story of Rolex. When people think of Roto-Rooter, they typically think plumbing and water cleaning. They wouldn't be wrong, but there's also more to the picture. We do a little of this, we do a little of that. We clean things up and we check things out. Yeah, we may do both, but we also do a whole lot more. Roto-Rooter, yeah, we do that too. When people think of Roto-Rooter, they typically just think plumbing and water cleanup. And they wouldn't be wrong, but we do a whole lot more. Roto-Rooter, yeah, we do that too. You can't put wings on a car. You can't see an accident coming. Or walk away from one like this. You can't make a car talk. How can I help you? You can't fight gravity. And you can't make one of the world's best SUVs even better. Go on, tell us what else we can't do. The all-new GLS. Are you ready to go? Possibly the safest, most spacious, most Mercedes SUV ever made. Mercedes-Benz. The best or nothing. The world of Rolex is filled with stories of perpetual excellence. Since 1990, the Solheim Cup has elevated women's golf. Team USA challenges Team Europe, upholding the traditions of sportsmanship and teamwork. As the women's game grows, the Solheim Cup will continue to shape its future. This is a story of perpetual excellence, the story of Rolex. Okay, I'm joined by our with our by our winners of the fifth and final Grand Prix of the season. For Hanish, Annika Cooper, Floor, what was your strategy out there? Um, we're gonna play our game no matter what. We knew they were very solid off the deck and at the net, so really picking our spots. Um, and yes, I was just playing our game, trying to not get too creative. 
Annika, you really started to look comfortable on the court. I commented it was nice to see Annika Cooper back. You guys struggled a little. You struggled a little bit. You were out for a while. And you look like you're really getting comfortable out there. Yeah, my timing is coming back. I've been focused on trying not to rush the ball, trying to control the pace together as a team and pick the right spots and, and, and be patient and wait for our opportunities and keep keep building. Floor, you served great. I think you, you held four or five times in the match and wow. really put a lot of pressure on them. What? So held, held serve four or five times and really put a lot of pressure on them with your serve. I didn't realize I held that much. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> we also have two spectacular cut winners from you, and it, it seems to me that you hit that shot better than your husband does these days. <laughs> Not sure yet. Hey, Tommy, I'm still working on it. <laughs> okay, well, congratulations, guys, and we're looking forward to seeing Darianne for the Nationals. Good All luck. Right, looking forward. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take a fast break, and we'll be back with our first men's semifinal right after these messages presented on the APTA Network, presented by ENET Live.